Drummer. Drummer. Oh, the amount of drama. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Derek and Bethany Trainer React. Uh, today we are finally reacting to the final episode of season one, the season finale of Selling Sunset. This is season one season finale, so we still gotta do season two and three, so that's coming. We watch shows, Bethany and I, and we react to them based off of if they're realistic or not when it comes to real estate. And all the shows that we do are on Amazon, Netflix, they might be movies, but at the end of the day, it's shows that you may watch and may think to yourself, hmm, is this real? Is this real life? And that's where we come in and we actually talk to you about it and we, we let you know, do we think it's realistic or not? No offers, not even one. Well, we're also listed high. We're also in Truesdale Estates. My blood, my blood's up to here right now, sorry. I, I understand it's frustrating. I mean, the house has been on longer than both of us anticipated, but it doesn't have city views. And it's no fault of yours, it just doesn't have city views. And that's what people are paying that type of money for, if you're trying to get over $2,000 a square foot. We also think the house should be listed under 10. Mm. So what's Christine doing? How many showings has she had? So before he keeps going, because I am kind of interested in this, uh, I think it's great that he decided that he was going to set an expectation at the front end that it was listed high, which he seems, the way he's saying it, sounds like he's already said mm -hmm. that to him before, but maybe the client just didn't realize that or didn't think, oh no, it'll sell. But he's doing a great job of just attacking that conversation on the front end and saying, all right, let's get down to business. Let's get down to what, what's really happening here. Clients do not want to hear the truth sometimes. They might think that their their house, the seller might think that their house is worth, you know, in this case, $12 million, when in fact, because it doesn't have the city views like he said, and because it's overpriced, it needs to be around 10 or less than 10. And that's just a realistic thing to say. So is it something that the seller wants to hear? Absolutely not. But sometimes you have to let them know that. And that's what he did. If I reduce to 995, I want it sold. I think with the new price, we're going to get a lot of activity. Three months. I'll say that. Yeah, and months. I would not be surprised if we could not get an offer within the first three months, especially at that price. Good. That was rough. Well, and I think he was already kind of frustrated. He was like, what is she doing to yeah. my house? So. That's true. Yeah. And that's the thing is. You have to continually stay in touch with your clients to let them know what you're doing to sell the house. And she's probably already had that conversation with dropping the price, um, just to be honest. And he just might not have wanted to do it. And he's to his breaking point. Like you said, he's up to here with it. So mm -hmm. um, finally they decided to drop the price and he's like, you got three months. Well, it's probably gonna sell. I think, I think she'll be fine. Doug is willing to reduce the price to 9995. That's a significant reduction. Hopefully we can still salvage this. Okay. You know, hopefully we can still breathe some life into this listing, even though it's been on the market for so long. And I think making sure that everyone that already knows about that house now knows that we just did a $2 million reduction. That's right. almost a 20% reduction. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry, I have a lot to say. This no, isn't normal. I think normal. this is really this good. This is really great. Um, all, all off at the start. Yeah, I think it's good. What do you think? Um, well, now she can reach out to, we've talked about doing like broker open houses before, so she could reach out to those. That's just me thinking. Um, just, you know, advertising again that the price was reduced. And Especially on a broker open, if you do another broker open where you probably already had one, do another one and say our price is reduced roughly 20%. Mm -hmm. I think that that would drive a ton of traffic, especially to the people that have already seen it. Because mm -hmm. uh, they had clients that were actually interested. Yeah. Um, and it looks like she's probably going to say something along the lines of, I have some people I can reach out to. So what do you think between places? There's Bali, we could do something a little bit closer. Whatever you prefer, I mean. So you don't care what, even what destination we go to? Many of those places will be fine for me. It's more, you know, the one you're going to choose. Okay. It's like a reoccurring theme. This guy just does not yeah. care about anything. And I think, I don't know if he just wants to marry her or if he's just like, mm. I don't know if he really wants to. I don't think so. I, I think he may. I just don't think he really cares. I'm going to call it. They don't get married. Too. 
They don't get married. Calling it right now. You seem like bored by this. He is. No, I mean, I mean, it's my, it's a girlfriend. Maybe he just doesn't feel like he can. All the stuff in he didn't have input. All right, let me ask you this. But if I, I had have said you. that, you'd have cut me. <laughs> yep, that's a fact. Write that down in your book. No, I wouldn't have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to my property that you actually um, viewed in Beverly Hills, we just had a $2 million price reduction, and I wanted to see if you were interested in getting back out there to see it. Oh, no, thank you so much. Unfortunately, it's still a little out of my price range, even with the price reduction, too. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Ugh. All right, so about that. If you are calling somebody on a property that's already viewed the property or an agent that's already viewed it with their client, there's two things. Number one, it still might be out of their price range, right? But the client just didn't like it. And then two, they very well may um, have found a property already. And that honestly is one of the bigger things, especially if it's been on market for six months. And if they showed that in the first month, their clients probably already found another property. No longer in the Market. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. And no, that's okay. Congratulations. I hope New York is amazing. Okay, take care. You too. Bye, Sarah. Oh, uh, yeah, I felt that way. Absolutely. Like, you, you exhaust all options. I'm not saying that's what she did, but for her to call all the people that had seen it before or may have been interested and none of them are interested or they already found a property. Yeah, that stinks. I would, yeah, I've, I've felt that way before. I don't like it. Feel for her. Uh-oh, here it is. 20,000 square feet. That's required. Oh, she better sell this thing. I'm a little disappointed that Brandon didn't make it and more importantly that you didn't tell me yeah, I just always like to be over-prepared. Yeah. I like to have the answer to every question before I go into Woo! any situation. I think, like, you know, working with you, you've taught me that, and I need to be better about that. I don't need you to just be prepared. I need you to be overly prepared all the time. Well, I feel like, especially the truth of, or the funds. The proof of funds, the yeah. The proof of funds, I said, yeah. Proof of funds, I feel like, um, like, they need to know that because they're wasting time. Yeah. She's wasting her time if there's no, not proof of funds and mm -hmm. then they're wasting the, the developers, guy, developers yeah. time. Um, Essentially in that price on. point, if, yeah, in that price point and you don't, you haven't already looked at proof of funds to see like, okay, is this person real? Yes. Do they actually have the money? Is this a serious buyer? And if they don't have proof of funds and you haven't seen it, then it's very well that these people might just be blowing smoke and want to see a beautiful mm -hmm. property mm -hmm. just because. Mm -hmm. So, I agree with that. I want to see where they live. Oh, it looks like this. What is she wearing? Is Mary going to do the tour? Right. <laughs> She's in a bathing suit. Oh, it's a bathing suit. I thought it was just a normal outfit. I go, okay, well, then there's that. Do you think Romaine breaks it off here? We were having a conversation, a private conversation. Yeah. And I was asking you questions. And then you turned it around to Mary and made it sound like I was talking bad about her. And just now you said that I was, and I wasn't. I was asking questions in a private situation because okay. I didn't know. Kind of like you had an opinion she about She was it. engaged okay. in that you were conversation, saying she should do though, that if I remember correctly. I think yes. everybody should have called her that she was going down the two-faced kind of road. Yeah. I told her, for, I was like, Davina's straightforward. And yeah. that's what I told her. Her these random guys. They're like, like, hey, why don't you sit here and you sit here, guy? I'm sorry, like I'm not a I'm not a pushover. Like I'm not fake. Sorry, I'm crazy. Just not. Uh, Only my fake, like I'm not fake. <laughs> sorry. This girl don't care about nothing. I don't want to cry. <laughs> like, uh, is this a bad time to tell you? I don't wanna <laughs> This is a bad time. I don't really want to marry you. That would be the greatest season finale okay, ever. Get out of my way. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Seriously, that bitch on a sunglass hat, she's so shady. Really? Yes, she's so shady. <laughs> I was protecting you as my best friend. I appreciate <laughs> that. You're not good. <laughs> she needs to go to sunglass hut because she's shady. Oh. Oh, I don't care. That was great. That's the best part of this entire episode.
<laughs> oh. Although this has nothing to do with real estate. No. Just lots of drama. It's just pure drama. Are you crying? No. Oh, I thought you were crying I'm there for crying. a second. This I was episode, like, whoa. This episode, I'm not crying. So you do probably have some drama with teams. So kind of going back to that, there is probably a little bit of drama that can happen sometimes. Sure. Uh, There's going to be drama with anybody. Like the truth is, is like, I feel like everybody feels that they have to be friends with everybody, no matter what. And to be honest, she just obviously doesn't, they don't get along. So just don't get along. It's fine. And let it go. But, whew. Yeah. So I bet they're going to have a team meeting and they're going to hash this all out. Doubtful. I guarantee you. Okay. Obviously, obviously I was wrong. With what? Romaine didn't do what he said oh, he was yeah. going to do in yeah. his mind. Yeah. I was reading his mind. It's fine. I feel like that first half of the episode was extremely realistic. I had a lot of good content. And then it was just pure drama. Mm -hmm. But yes, I do believe that that was pretty realistic. There's quite a few things that I do go through and agents probably everywhere go through, but they showed it really well. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Derek and Bethany Reacts. You're the best. See you next time. <laughs> If there's any shows or movies that you would like us to react to, leave them in the comment section below. Bye. See you guys.